So now you know how to do a simple shape with some curves. You know how to copy and flip shapes and to unite them using the Pathfinder. We're going to now learn how to do a little bit more complex of a shape and how to actually use your shape tool as you're working with the pen tool to create characters or objects. To start out, we're going to get a new artboard and we're going to place an image on the artboard. This is actually something that I have drawn, but you can do the same thing with your own drawings. Alt and scroll to see the whole thing. To resize, don't forget to hold down shift so you don't distort it, but you can also hold down option or alt to make sure it stays in the middle, and that'll make it a little bit easier for you when you are trying to place this image. You do want to make sure that this is on your image layer. Remember we have our working layer and our image layer and it looks like right now we have placed this on our working layer rather than our image layer. So let's go ahead and move that. To move it you can do command X, click on the image layer and shift command V to paste in place. You could do command V like this, but then it won't paste it exactly where I had it before. So shift command V will allow it to be in the exact same place that it was on the other layer. Go ahead and lock your image layer and let's scroll in a little bit or zoom in and get you started. We're going to start out with the ellipse tool. Make sure that you're working on the blue layer. If you look here, this says that I can't do anything because this layer is locked. So we want to be on our working layer. And go ahead and start with the head. I could hold down shift if I wanted it to be a perfect circle. Or if I like the oblong shape that I have here, then I could I could mess with that a little bit too. I'm going to go ahead and leave it as a perfect circle. Move it up a little bit. That looks pretty good. Right now I have this blue outline and I'm going to go ahead and leave that for the moment because I will come back in and color it once I've got the eyes and the, and the mouth in there. The next thing I'm going to work with is the body. So I'm going to keep my ellipse tool and click and drag and I'm going to use my direct selection tool to move it where I want it to be. I can resize it here and I can use my direct selection tool and when I see these handles here I know that the shape is selected and I can move these points changing the handle will change the angle of the shape. Now if you notice here I have some issues with my shape that this curve is not going to be exactly right. So what I'm going to do is hold down Alt while I drag these two handles in and this should allow me to get this pointy stinger that I have here on the end. I let go of Alt so I can move this anchor and let's see where we're at. This is pretty close so I'm going to move this handle one more time and move this handle so it goes out a little bit. You just have to keep messing with things until it looks right. Remember the different tools that we learned earlier. Remember that you can hold down Alt to move just one handle, that you can hold down shift to make sure that things stay at a 45 or 90 degree angle. Obviously that's not what we want to do now. And if you really need to change one completely then you can come back and use the convert tool to change it. So if I wanted to restart on this one then I could do that just like that.